Hey fellow photographers, it's Alessandro Carpentiero and I want to welcome you to the Photography News Show, where every Monday I bring you the best and latest news in the photography industry. Coming up today for episode number 37, we have the new Nikkor Z 400mm f2.8, a super cheap telephoto lens and much more. So let's begin! Lens news. The Nikon Z9 was launched a couple of months ago and it instantly became the go-to camera for Nikon sport and wildlife photographers. When it comes to these photography genres, you often need fast telephoto lenses and until last week Nikon Z shooters only had a couple of options. The Nikkor Z 70-200mm f2.8 and the 100-400mm. But starting this week we have a new addition to the S lineup the Nikkor Z 400mm f2.8 TC VRS, a super telephoto prime lens that perfectly pairs with the Z9 and is aimed at professionals that need the best image quality and fast performance. It has, in fact, 25 elements in 19 groups and several elements to correct aberrations and reduce flare. It weighs 6.5 pounds, almost 3 kilograms, which makes it just a tad heavier than Sony's and Canon's 400mm f2.8 lenses. Not a deal breaker, given that the most important aspect for such lenses is IQ and performance. When it comes to features, the Nikkor Z 400mm has a built-in 1.4x teleconverter, so that you can immediately go from 400 to 560mm and vice versa, something very convenient when shooting at moving subjects. It also has a 5.5 stops built-in vibration reduction, that will seamlessly work with the on-sensor stabilization of the Z9. We then have, of course, ceilings to prevent dust and water to enter the lens, several customizable function buttons, and the new memory recall function that you can use to save a focus point and recall it by rotating the function ring. It's also compatible with the 1.4x and 2x teleconverters, which will transform it into a 784 and 1120 mm lens, respectively. Based on the sample images provided by Nikon, I'm really liking the image quality this lens provides, together with the very pleasant bokeh. It will be available in late February 2022, and you can pre-order it at $14,000 from the link in the description. It surely doesn't come cheap, but if you want to achieve stellar results for your action photography, well, there's no other way to go. While if you would like to save $13,750, and still get a super telephoto lens, this week I have for you the Tokina 500mm f8 mirror lens. It's a manual lens that uses a catadioptric optical design to achieve a long focal length in a very small body. So small, in fact, that it can fit in a hand and it weighs only 11 ounces or 310 grams, making it an interesting choice to have a long lens always with you. You surely can't expect too much from a $250 telephoto lens, but if you are on a budget and want to experiment with something different, you could give this a try. It adopts a T-mount so that using the right adapter, you can mount it on pretty much any camera. Oh, and before I continue, please consider subscribing to get this weekly show and always stay on top of the industry. It won't cost you anything and it really helps support my work. Thank you and let's get back to the news! Camera news. Talking of Nikon, when the Z9 was launched, I was really impressed by the 120 FPS mode, which allows you to shoot an insane burst at 11 megapixels. It's not easy to comprehend how fast that is, so a Swedish photographer put this mode to test and was able to capture a bullet fired from a Winter Biathlon rifle without using any special trigger. Such rifles fire bullets at a speed around 750 miles per hour or 1200 km per hour. And this photographer was able to pretty much freeze the bullet thanks to the 120 FPS mode of the camera, which by the way allows you to get an exposure time as fast as 1 32 thousandths of a second. Pretty cool, right? Pictures of the week. In this segment, I feature the most interesting pictures I've seen on the web. This week I have for you the winners of the Ocean Art Underwater Photo Competition, a contest organized by the Underwater Photography Guide, which celebrates a decade of searching for the world's best photos of marine life behavior 
one of the kind portraits of fascinating undersea creatures and images that inspire a sense of urgency for the preservation of our oceans. As usual, you can find all the details in the description. That's it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Photography News Show. Which news did you like the most? Just let me know in the comments. If you've liked this video, please give it a big thumb up, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell, and share this video with your photography friends. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.